When I was in high school, I grew up in Michigan, and we took a field trip to Stratford in Canada, and I saw a production of Twelfth Night, and it just crystallized everything for me. And I looked at those actors and the language and the storytelling, and I thought, that's what I want to do. I read that script and I said to my husband, I said, oh my God, I said, this is the best pilot that I've ever read. I hope they actually make it. <laughs> it was an actor's dream to be on that show and get to say those words and work with that group of actors. I mean, God, just to watch Cranston in rehearsal before we shoot was like, it was such a phenomenal experience. And Marie, you know, she's not an easy person, but God, I loved her. I mean, right now I can't get Flint off my mind. Um, I'm proud of the project just because I, you know, I think it's a good movie and I think it's gonna make some change, you know, for for people that, that maybe don't have the voice, God, I'm so sorry, um, they don't have, the voice that they, they need to have. I wonder if you would all read my book and give me your thoughts. Tim and I would love to, but we just started the Bible. Ooh, we heard great things. I love playing Heather in Life and Paces. One of the things I love about playing Heather is part of being that family on Life and Pieces. I feel like it's just, I am come from a family, there's four kids and, so it's a lot, it's a lot of personality and it's often a lot of funny. It's such a talented group of actors and also really nice people, you know? That's, that's how you want to spend your day. I laugh a lot, I ruin a lot of takes. A lot of takes. It's not milk, that's egg whites. Yeah, yeah I know that. I feel like this is our best season yet and I feel like we, it takes a while I, I think to, you know, find a character's voice. I love the realness in this comedy. It's got extra protein. You don't want to stay this height forever, huh? Yeah, you too, right? Hey, I'm Betsy Brand. Be sure to check out Life in Pieces this fall on CBS.